Welcome to this digital office hour on the cap M and the stochastic discount factor. So in that office hour, I want to highlight that the cap M implies a simplified stochastic discount factor. So basically what I want to show is that the cap M assumes now the following. First of all, it assumes that the market prices of risk coincide with the sharp ratio of the market portfolio. And second of all, it assumes that the systematic sources of risk, these shocks to the STF, that they are the same than the shocks to the return on the market portfolio. Right? The prerequisite for that office hour are the previous ones, which introduced this notion of an SDF, stress discount factor. So let's just go to these points right away. So what's the goal? The goal is to show that the cap M is kind of like a subset of the full STF approach. Yeah, it's a simplified version. So here's the setup kind of that we work with. We assume we have N different instruments and all of these assets follow some ITO stochastic differential equation. Okay. We also assume that we have a stochastic discount factor as has been reviewed in the previous office hour that is the same thing then assuming okay brown emotion just to make sure the concepts become clearer i call that sdf shock yeah that's the market price let's say for the SDF market prices of risk for the SDF that's the risk free rate it's the SDF okay and let's say one additional thing is the market portfolio because the cap M is determining expected returns of these I instruments as a function of the market portfolio. So therefore I want to introduce that explicitly and I just call it DSM market over market and that shall have a drift mu market T DT and then there's a market volatility which can also be time varying. And here explicitly I said it's the market shock, shock to the return of the market portfolio. So I think that's all we need. Now remember, the SDF implies that the expected risk premium of every instrument over the next instant is nothing else than the lambda of the SDF, the market prices of risk, multiplied by the amount of systematic risk that is part of instrument I. Right, that has to hold for every instrument in the financial market. Okay. Now, you are well aware of the cap M, most likely better aware than to this SDF relationship. Now, what does the cap M say? The cap M says that the risk premium of an instrument I over the next instant, that has to be the same than the beta of the firm. Yeah, so the beta I in the market as of time T, times the risk expected risk premium of the market which in our notation now is that okay where in the cap m that's the covariance over the variance yeah so with the beta 
i market comma t it's nothing else than the covariance as of t between the market return what's the market return that's d s market and the return of asset i okay and that gets divided by the variance as of t of the market d s okay okay so we now want to play around with that beta concept a little bit to see that it's just a special case of the sdf approach from, from here yeah so so here's what we do we are using that equation and just write that in terms of this covariance part so that is the covariance of d okay that's the beta and now we write that uh, I want to do the following I want to write that in terms of the volatility and one of the vol part comes in here I multiply that with the risk premium of the market which already gives me the sharp ratio of the market as of time t yeah with the sharp ratio of the market is just the risk premium divided by the volatility of the market okay multiplied by dt Okay, so that's what we have. Now, what I want to do is that's the covariance for the market shock and the in 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 asset ice shock. So it's the instantaneous covariation. Yeah, so I want to use now the notation that's used in continuous time for that which means that is just instantaneous covariation between the market portfolio and asset i okay and that now gets multiplied by the sharp ratio divided by the volatility the volatility of the market portfolio okay so let's look at that instantaneous covariation so what's that well we had we started off Here's what the market innovation looks like. That's what instrument I innovation looks like. So now we plug that in into this instantaneous covariation. So we have the market innovation is nothing else than sigma market comma t times the market shock let's just check it's the same notation sigma market yeah and then we have the covariation with there's an SIT missing 
Okay. With sigma i t d b i t, that's the innovation in instrument i. And now that it's is multiplied again. DT. Okay. Now what do we see? We can put that one out. That's a constant as of t, which cancels out with that one because it's the same. It's the conditional volatility for the next period's return. So I cancel that with that. And I write that in front. So we have that's the sharp ratio of the market at time t and that gets multiplied with sigma i t d b i t comma d b of the market portfolio okay and so that is basically based on the cap m and that needs to be the same based on the SDF representation to lambda SDF prime with the instantaneous covariation of instrument I with the SDF shock. Right? And hence you really see what that the cap m is just a special model of a more general SDF model because you see that the cap m assumes it assumes that the lambda t of the SDF in the cap m is basically nothing else than the sharp ratio of the market as of time t yeah, which is nothing else than you take the expected in return of the market portfolio of the next instant minus the risk-free rate as of t and you divide that by the volatility of the market where here and now I use that notation for the world yeah, it's the same than that it's, sh it's just shorter so divided by sigma market comma t okay and that's the first assumption that the cap m has which is kind of what we are used to right that the sharp ratio of the market portfolio is the risk compensation an investor gets per unit of market risk and the second comes from here directly which says that the innovation to the sdf in the cap m is specialized to be just the innovation in the return of the market portfolio. That's the intuition we know. In the cap M, the investor is afraid of fluctuations in the market portfolio. That's the source of systematic risk. And the compensation for that type of risk is given by the Sharpe ratio. While the risk premium of an instrument is given by the amount of co-movement that instrument I has with the market's systematic sources of risk it gives you the amount of risk, amount of systematic risk that is part of instrument I, which then gets multiplied with the compensation you get per unit of market risk. So we can therefore say that indeed the market risk premium is just uh, not the market risk premium the risk premium of a firm the mu it is just equal to this sdf notion of market price of risk for times the core movement of the instrument with the sdf and in the cap m that market price of risk is just the sharp ratio of the market while the amount of risk is just equal to that thing here 
Yeah. So maybe let's work on that. That's the last thing we we have to do. Let's say I call that x hat node. So that's the amount of risk. Yeah. So sigma i t d b i t comma d b SDF okay DB SDF T under this cap M assumption that shock is the market shock yeah? so I just write that in here DB is the market shock okay and now what is that that is just the volatility that's constant S of T so I can put that out and now I just have the instantaneous co-movement between asset I and the market portfolio. And that is just nothing else if there's a correlation between these two shocks, right? It's just a correlation of instrument I with the market times DT. So you really see that the amount of systematic risk, right? you can say that's the amount of systematic risk in asset I. That is this well-known result. It's not the full volatility of asset I, but it is scaled by the correlation that that instrument has with the market. Or in the general SDF case, it's a correlation that the instrument I has with the SDF. 